What's up outsiders, Jim Casey here. Today we are gonna to review something that should be in every whiskey lover's pocket, a flask. As you can see, I've got lots of flasks in my collection, pewter, stainless steel. But we recently came across the rag proper glass flasks and we thought it would be perfect for outsider to review. Now when I'm drinking out of a metal flask, there's always that metallic aftertaste. And I've also noticed a changing color from my pewter flask. I filled this up with some Dickel a few days ago and pouring them out side by side, you can definitely see a difference in color. Now based on the taste and the discoloration, having a glass flask is a no brainer. Let's talk about the rag proper glass flask. It's got this cool leather sheath that you know is gonna age well. It's also got this window so you can see how much whiskey is in your flask. It comes with some cool accessories. It's got an easy pour silicone funnel. It's the easiest funnel I've ever used. It's got dual caps, a metal one and a plastic one if you happen to be going through a metal detector. But even on the metal one, it's got a cork insert and silicone grooves so metal never touches your whiskey. Rag Proper claims this is brake resistant glass. So we're gonna go outside and beat the hell out of it. Filled this thing halfway full. Let's put it through the outsider torture test. Here's the 10 foot drop. She survived the 10 foot drop. Now let's do the tree test. Tennessee, Kentucky, huh, huh. Survive the soccer kick. We got one more ultimate test for it. <laughs> I cannot believe that just survived a 1,400 pound golf cart. Here comes my madman producer, Greg Goff, in his 7,000 pound truck. This is what happens when you let a madman take over your torture test. I think we can say that this is brake resistant for what any rational person would do with the flask. Wow, that was a lot of fun. This flask is badass. All right, let's get down to our review. Usability. What I love about this flask is it's glass, and that's exactly how you would buy your whiskey in the store. So you're getting that same great taste and the same coloration as you would from a bottle of whiskey that you buy in the store. The leather sheath is gorgeous, and you know it's gonna age well over time. It also has those cool accessories that we talked about a minute ago. The silicone funnel, the plastic top, the metal top. Now, size. This flask holds a lot of whiskey. The big one, is 240 milliliters, which is about eight ounces. And the smaller one is 100 milliliters, which is about three and a half ounces. Now, eight ounces, I love the fact that I can get two strong pours out of this big flask. If you're sitting around the campfire or going on a camping trip, this big flask is for you. But if you're trying to sneak it into a football game or a dry wedding, think again. And if you're having a dry wedding, that's on you. But the little one, you can fit into your boot, your back pocket, it's a great addition to your flask collection. I give it four out of five, the only drawback being the size. Durability, this flask is unbelievable. It passed every drop test we gave it. I threw it across a pond, we drove over it in a golf cart, I punted it off a dirt hill, and it wasn't until my producer, Madman Greg, drove over it with a 7,000 pound truck that it busted. This is the easiest score I've ever given. Durability, five out of five. Price. The 240 milliliter flask sells for $80. The 100 milliliter flask goes for 60. Now, you can buy them both in this really cool gift set for 120. And we love the packaging on it and we think it'd make a great gift. But I'd love to see this under $100. And for that, I give it four out of five on price. Hope you guys enjoyed the review today. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. Cheers. Why won't this thing start?